out here at um, Snoqualmie today, taking an airy avalanche course, airy level one for avalanche safety and rescue for the upcoming um, Alaska expedition, and especially for the training that I'll be doing beforehand. It's been, actually the day's gone by really fast, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and then again tomorrow. So today's the outside portion where we've been learning to uh, use our beacons and probes and find find victims, work as a team to find them as fast as we can. It looks, it goes in there. It might be up top here. Point six. Okay, you, you point five. Find I'm feeling the snow consistency as I saw. So it got a little harder and crunchier right there. So it's not coming down super easily. It's actually taking some effort. One, two, three. I'm Katie. I'm from Olympia, Washington. We're out here at... Um, my name's Katie. I'm from Olympia, Washington. And we are out here at the... We left out of the Alpental parking lot and we are under Pineapple Pass. And we're out here um, in an avalanche training, testing snow conditions. So behind me, Ty is building a... We built a little cave here that we can test the different snow conditions in. So we pressed on the wall to see the different pressures and where there might be changes in the snow at different depths. And then we each got to build a column and pound on it to test the compression. So when at different compressions, things would fracture. And then we write all that down. And it's just part of what we are learning to keep ourselves safe when we're out in the snow. And yesterday we did the practice with beacons and learning how to search and rescue and find people and dig them out if you were in an avalanche.